This is the cartoon version of the teacher of philosophy, again with a way of understanding Plato's Republic, this time by means of three quotations from wonderful scholars. First is Gregory Vlastos. The quotation from him is just two words, the most succinct summary of the Republic I've ever encountered. Justice pays. In other words, justice pays off. Justice is worth it. We don't just put up with justice because we're not powerful enough to do to others what we want. Treating others justly is actually good for us. The second most succinct summary of the Republic is eight words, and it comes from C.S. Lewis, though he's uh, borrowing from a medieval writer who had also studied Plato's Republic. These words are, the head rules the belly through the chest. This is a metaphor for the soul, which has three parts or three aspects in Plato's account, or at least Socrates' account in the Republic. There's the rational part represented by the head. There's the spirited part, the part of the soul uh, that desires victory, that cares about glory and honor. And then there's the appetitive part, the belly, the stomach, the part of the soul that cares about physical things and physical pleasures. In a well-ordered soul, the head rules the belly through the chest. Uh, the spirited part of the soul uh, is persuaded to become an ally of the rational part of the soul uh, in order to keep the appetitive part of the soul in line. Not by uh, oppressing it, not merely by forcing it to, to do what is right, but by persuading it. And for the sake of an integrated human life in which the whole flourishes, uh, head, chest, and belly, in which the whole human being flourishes. Now, the third summary of the Republic is a somewhat longer quote, but still a remarkably succinct summary of Plato's Republic from Stanley Rosen's very good book on the Republic. Here it is. He says, Human beings do not have to be persuaded to love themselves, but they must be persuaded to hold that self-love is the same as love of the city. In other words, Plato's Republic gives reasons for us to believe that what is good for us is linked to what is good for others in our community. And that is the nature of the arguments in the Republic. It's an attempt to persuade us that uh, caring for the good of others, uh, or at least caring for justice with respect to others and with respect to the community of which we are part, is good for us and uh, therefore a mere attempt at self-interest, excluded from caring about the interests of others, is in fact contrary to our own goal of self-interest, contrary to uh, personal happiness.